Hey everyone, Nicole Herrick here with you. Today I'm going to show you how to create a faux cyclorama backdrop to place behind a model. So here is my existing raw image. Uh, this is not my image, I must, I must stress that, um, but the photographer has captured the subject beautifully, but we want to make it look like she's in a studio. This is actually shot with natural light. We want it to look like studio. So I just want to show you the end result so you can kind of see them side by side. Um, so here is the original, here is the finish, just so you know where we're going people. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm using this as an example of realistic uh, cyclorama background. So you can see here that it is a white cyclorama background, but a white always looks like a very soft grey um, when you don't sort of bleach it out to nothing. Okay, so here we can see that there is quite an even sort of grey tone along here. We come to where the cyclorama bends and this is an ever so slightly lighter grey. And then we come down to the floor level and this is an ever so slightly darker grey than this main grey here. What I can also see is a shadow cast off the feet. And this goes off in a low direction like this. Now this is because this um, lighting in this studio has a more of a heavier light on this side, so coming from this direction, and then a softer light on this side. And in our original raw image, it's shot in daylight. There's uh, pretty much no sort of directional source, but we're gonna create that, okay? Um, the other thing that I can see is that there is a really, really gentle, soft shadow just behind the model here. So I also wanna recreate that. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is create a mask around my subject. Now I've already gone ahead and done that because um, I don't wanna put that into this tutorial. It's quite a lengthy process if you don't already know how to do it. So just go and watch another um, video on how to do masking in Photoshop. So here is my masked layer. If I turn off the background, you can see that this is what the masking does. It just sort of creates um, a blanket over the top of the background area. All right, so let's go and pop our cyclorama background into this. So I'm gonna do a layer above the background layer and we're gonna go and add a gradient to it. So click on your gradient tool and then I want you to double click in this section up here. Now you'll probably start off with something looking like this. So we need three points along the this line, okay? So one of them is going to be around about here. Okay, so I want you to make this top one, double click the bottom here, and you wanna make it 230 gray. So 230, 230, 230 into the RGB. Okay, oops, oops, oops. okay, and you can see here it's a really soft kind of neutral gray. All right, so I want my second one to be 235. And this is lighter than 230, but just by the tiniest little bit. And then I want my bottom one, which is going to be the floor, to be 214. Don't ask me why, just do it. But it's slightly darker. All right, cool, so you can see that that's slightly darker. All right, so it's really difficult to see the actual gradation in this particular band because you cannot see much difference here. But basically this is, if you, if you turn this on its side, this one here is going to be our main sort of grey in the, in the wall. This block here is going to represent the lighter part of the cyclorama that goes here, so where it bends. And then this grey is going to represent the floor grey. Okay, so the other thing we just need to do is tighten up the diamonds around this particular colour. So if I bring these diamonds in closer to about yay, that just gives a narrower band of this lighter gray. All right, so now what we wanna do is start at the top, click holding down shift and click and drag down to about the feet level and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see here that, again, it's really soft. Um, but this is where my dip in the cyclorama is. This is my wall and this is my floor. Now you can play around with where the floor actually is if you wanted a little bit 
closer to the subject or if you want the wall further away you can see here that this is all floor level but I like to do it to about the foot level and then that gives us actually, let's go a little bit further all right cool so I like to do it to about there so sort of having it just about like a, it's kind of like a meter and a half behind her it's really difficult to judge but anyway about there okay so now what we want to do is um, grab some of the existing shadows that are around her feet so I'm going to do that by turning off the uh, new background layer that we've created I'm just going to click on the background and I'm just going to grab my lasso and just grab her shoes okay and just making sure to grab sort of these existing little shadows under here so we're going to go copy paste and I'm going to bring that above my layer up here and then I'm going to choose multiply okay so now I need to knock back sort of all the excess that isn't shadow okay so I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm going to make my brush initially 100% opacity make sure I'm on super soft and just knock all this back a little bit okay Here we go I'm gonna drop my brush down a little bit more now and we don't want any of the shoes to be multiplied look at those cute little chubby ankles wouldn't it be great if women could have chubby ankles and they'd be cute <laughs> okay so there we go so I've, I've kept my existing shadows now obviously um this has a little bit of uh, dirt and sparkles and things on the floor um and you would get rid of that uh, i'm just not going to okay so i'm going to turn my backdrop back on and you can see there that this has given me that sort of existing shadow i might just sort of lose a little bit more of it i'm going to drop my opacity and just get rid of a little bit more in that middle kind of section just so it's super light uh, but we are going to add in some more shadows in just a second okay all right next step is to add in some faux shadows let's do a soft shadow behind her first so I'm going to use my mask to grab a selection of our little mitts and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to fill this layer with black There we go and I'm gonna hit deselect and now I'm gonna blur this so it looks like a shadow so I'm gonna go filter blur Gaussian blur and I want this to be a fairly blurry blur is that the technical term blurry blur um, so you can see this is quite blurry let me show you this is this is like a, a really hard shadow here but this is like a really blurry shadow about here so I'm gonna choose 127.3 Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna put this one below my little miss over here. And I'm going to hit Control T and we're gonna change the shape of our shadow. So just to give you some reference, it's this shadow back here that I'm creating. All right, so I'm gonna hit Control T and I'm gonna skew it over to the left a little bit and then skew it down a little bit just so it's kind of behind her okay yeah about there yep all right right there okay so now I need to drop the opacity of this one let's see where it looks good you want this really really light by the way maybe about I'm gonna go 16 okay so now also um, shadows tend to dissipate into nothing so I want to keep it um, the right density down here but just dissipate this off into oblivion so I'm just going to use my eraser for that um, I'm going to put my opacity on about 30 percent ish grab a bigger brush a little bit bigger than that okay and then I'm just going to knock this back 
there we go so if I turn that off and back on again you can just see it's just a really subtle um, fall back shadow okay now let's create the shadow that sleeps across the floor and is a little bit harder so again I'm going to uh, create a new layer and I'm going to put it uh, I'll keep it there and I'm going to put it underneath again and I'm going to use the mask to create a selection of our little miss I'm going to get it go to my new layer and I'm going to fill it with black again um, and sorry if I bring this to the top you can see where my layer of black is I'm going to deselect and then I'm going to add some blurring with my Gaussian blur all right and then I want this to be not so hard so yeah I'm kind of liking that that's fine that's fine I'm going to put it underneath now and I'm going to control T and let's bring this right down okay and then I'm going to skew it off to the side and I want to put her feet just on the edge where they originally were okay I'm happy with that so you can see it just kind of casts it off to the side now obviously it's looking a little bit weird because she's still at the moment in just like a kind of quite overall lighting she's not sort of lit from one side so this shadow doesn't make sense yet but I'm getting to that bit trust me <coughs> now let's drop this down in opacity so it looks a bit more realistic yeah look about three percent I'm gonna be good with that I don't want this too harsh at all I also want to just knock this back a little bit with my eraser so let's just give that a little bit of a wipe there we go all right cool so you can see me turning on and off that it creates a little bit more of a stance of her standing there all right now with any shadow you need to have a quite a dark patch right at the start so if I zoom in here you can see oh, you can see at the bottom of her shoe you can see at the bottom of her shoe here that it is quite dark here and then it kind of dissipates so I need to create a little bit more shadow just on the left of both shoes so let's grab another new layer and I'm just going to simply do this with a black paintbrush grab that in black I'm going to do my opacity at about yeah let's do like 14 percent cool and then I'm going to find a brush about the right size yeah that's about right okay and then I'm just going to do a few little sweeps okay one sweep closer sweep even closer sweep and then I'm going to grab my eraser to do some shading backwards try and grab the right size okay so then I'm just going to do a little bit more shaping there we go and then I scroll back and I think okay is that a little bit too dark maybe should I drop the opacity a touch yeah so just dropping that opacity just a touch helps it make a little bit more realistic okay people now let's have a look at little miss herself so she is looking rather flat um, this model is looking very contrasted so let's attack that first so I'm going to select my layer that our mask is on and I'm first going to give her some levels so I want to brighten her up a little bit and drop down her mid-tones now I don't want to do her too bright just yet I don't want to do her as bright as I want her because I'm going to add some brightness from a pretend light okay so about there is quite good so you can see here um, if I just undo that you can see that it looks a lot more contrasted okay so now the next step is to add in a bit of light on this side of our little miss uh, so to do that you could use the filter render lighting effects but we're going to keep it quite simple we're just going to use the dodge tool so if I click on my dodge tool and I'm going to select highlights 3% and keep protect tones on. So I need to grab a smaller brush. So if we make that brush, eh, right about a thousand. Okay, I'm good with that. 
So we're just going to start with one sweep from the top. So we're just doing it on the right hand side of it. So from the top all the way down. Now I'm going to do a sweep that goes only down to her skirt. Okay, so I'm skipping the leg part. And now I'm just doing her face. And I might just do one more on her face. And there we go. So can you see how that looks like a really soft light? coming from this direction and hitting her on this side. So you can see that it's a little bit more shadowed down here. It's definitely more shadowed on this side of her face. And we've got a little bit of highlighting just here around this side of her face. Um, now, because this is a little bit grainy, we might also just do a little bit of noise cancelling. Um, so we shall reduce noise. All right, so this is before and this is what the current settings are. Do you know what, I think those are quite good. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's before, and that's with these settings. All right, let's go okay. So there we go, that's just softened her up just ever so slightly. All right, so there we go, I think I'm done. Um, obviously this is not any kind of perfection. Um, a lot of you might say, uh, she doesn't look like she's there at all, Nicole. What are you doing, that's crap. Please, if you have much better skills than me, I would love to be taught more. I'm always trying to learn more in Photoshop. Um, so please, yeah, drop a link below to a tutorial that you think um, might help me to better my skills in this. But let's have a look at how it compares to the original raw photo. So here is, here's our original raw and here is our finished product. Let me know what you think guys. I hope that was helpful for some of you. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and give it a like. That would be awesome. Thanks guys.